Did you know that a group of swallows is called a gulp? Welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the collective nouns for 25 different animals that you can find in the UK. As I've already given it away, yes, a group of swallows can be called a gulp. Alongside this, you could call them a flight, a swoop, a kettle, and strangely, a herd of swallows. Whilst most of those are quite random, the collective noun for this well-known garden visitor, the hedgehog, is a bit more fitting. A group of them is known as a prickle. A group of roosting bats is most often known as a colony, but they are also sometimes referred to as a cauldron of bats. When they are in the air, they can also be called a flock or even a cloud. A group of geese on the ground can be called a gaggle of geese but a group of them in flight is known as a skein. Some collective nouns are quite descriptive, such as that of the goldfinch. A group of these small but beautiful birds is known as a charm. And a group of ladybirds must not have been named by the small aphids that they often feed upon, as they are known as a loveliness. Some collective nouns seem to be completely random words, such as a group of woodlice which is known as a quobble. I couldn't find out why, but I'd love to hear your theories in the comments down below. It seems that amphibians are often labelled with military collective nouns. A group of frogs is called an army, whilst a group of newts is known as a flotilla or an armada. I don't know if it's because I've heard it lots of times before, but a collective noun for a group of squirrels makes complete sense. They are known as a scurry. It's well known that a group of dolphins is called a pod, but they can also be referred to as a team or a school. A group of fish is often called a school, but different species have their own collective nouns, such as a group of perch, which is known as a swagger, whilst a group of minnows can be called a steam. You might have already known that a group of owls is a parliament, but did you also know that a group of woodpeckers is called a descent. Several butterflies together can be called a flight, a flutter, or even a rabble, but my favorite for them is a kaleidoscope. The collective noun for foxes, who are known for being quite wary and often venturing out after dark, is a skulk, and whilst a badger's home is a set, a group of badgers is known as a seat. You would be very lucky to see a group of kingfishers, but if you do, you have seen a crown of kingfishers. You might guess that the most popular collective noun for robins is a round of robins, but a group of them can also be called a worm of robins. Whilst if you spot a group of worms, they are known as a bed or a bunch of worms. A group of grebes may in fact be performing their collective noun if you see them, as they are known as a water dance of grebes. And depending on where you are, a group of rats might be up to their name as well, a mischief of rats. Sometimes you might spot several dragonflies flying together, and if you do, these are known as a cluster or a flight of dragonflies. And although I don't like to demonise any animal, the collective noun for a group of ravens is an unkindness. I'm sure they'd be perfectly kind to you if you are kind to them. And that's all for today. But if you did enjoy this video, then check out this one here on the screen for more British wildlife. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.